In this video, we're going to take a look at creating the Instagram carousel in Figma. We're going to be taking the current Instagram interface and just recreating that right here in Figma. I'm going to start by pressing the F on my keyboard to access the frame tool. And then under prototype in this right panel, I am going to search for iPhone 11 Pro in the iPhone section and click that. This will create a frame for us that has the same proportions as an actual iPhone screen. Next, I'm going to make sure that when I open these prototype settings, I'm going to be selecting the iPhone 11 Pro device right here. And we're going to go for silver or space gray, whatever you prefer. What this should do is when we launch the prototype, we get a blank screen, but with a device around it. Um, next thing I'm going to be setting the background to black and, and start creating the actual slider. This means using the frame tool and creating a frame that is the same width as this whole screen. So that means 375. Let's do that. I'm going to name this Carousel Container. Then I'm going to duplicate that and rename this new frame to Photo Container. I'm going to also paste a few images I found on Unsplash.com. That's a free stock photo website to just have some photos that we can use in our Carousel. These photos will be a part of the hypothetical Instagram post. Once I have these three photos ready, I'm going to select the photo container and turn that into a component. I'm going to create two variants, two additional variants, that is, and these are going to be our photos. So that's going to be photo one, photo two and photo three. I'm going to paste these photos. Each of these is going to go into one of these variants. So I'm going to press command X, command V right here. Similar stuff here. And finally this one. And here we have our square Instagram photos. Next, I'm going to alt click and drag one of these images to create an instance of the photo container element. I'm going to duplicate that twice and then select photo two and photo three. So we have these three photos stacked next to each other. Then I'm going to select all of these and press shift A to add them into an auto layout. This auto layout is going to be called photos and I'm going to move it over here for now and focus on finishing this component right here. What do we need to do now is finish this part above the photos and this one below the photos where the profile name and the three dots usually are. And then here is going to be the section where there is the like button, the comment button, the share button and the save button right here, along with some comments and interactions and so on. But we're going to probably leave that out for now. So let me just really quickly, we're just going to create some placeholders, right? So this is going to be our photo. This is going to be our text that says profile name. This is going to be a location. And then I'm just going to create a couple dots. So these dots will be like four pixels next to each other like this. And all of this is going to be within a frame within a container. I'm going to just move them over here. These as well. Then I'm going to set black color to this It's going to be gray. This is going to be white. This is going to be white as well. I'm going to group this and set both of these to center and left. And then I'm going to increase the height by five pixels so that we get an equal distance of these from all the sides, right? So we have 10 from each side. So this is our top section. Now I'm going to create the bottom section, which means it's going to be a bit more difficult, but um, I'm going to create the icons now. Feel free to skip this section because it tends to be a bit boring. So I'm just going to take a rectangle. So it's going to be 161 by 100. So this is our like button. It's not completely identical to the Instagram icon, but it just needs to be close enough. Similar with this comment button and then union selection stroke, white stroke, 
three pixels and let's soften these lines like this brilliant change size now we can adjust the angle of this just by changing one of these shapes within the union finally finally there is the polygon made for sharing i'm gonna add a vertex and then another line right here also white and also let's soften these and let's rotate this icon as it is in the app right so we have these three icons they are not identical but you know close enough that's all that matters for now and yeah we also need to make the safe safe icon like this and yeah so this is going to be the bottom section and if you look closely actually this bottom section has dots and these dots kind of show the position of where you are in the carousel which means that uh, since we have three photos right here there's going to be three dots and i'm just going to make these smaller so we have three dots right here approximately and the goal here is to have these reflect your position in the carousel so when you'll be on the first photo, this left one will be highlighted. When you're on the second one, the middle one will be highlighted. And when you're on the third one, the last one will be highlighted, right? So right now I'm going to take these photos, click and drag them over, or actually command X, select the carousel container, command V to paste them inside the carousel container, right? So now it's actually starting to look like an actual Instagram post. Brilliant. I'm gonna select all of these, press Shift A to create a new auto layout. I'm gonna name this auto layout Instagram post because that's what it is. Zero spacing. And I'm gonna turn this into a component. So I'm gonna select the whole Instagram post and click here to create a component. Now I need two more variants. These are variant two, which essentially means a variant where you have the second photo and then we need a variant three that has last photo and you can see that i move these photos by selecting the carousel container and then the photos within the photos um also layout within the carousel container and just align them right so if i align them to the center the middle one appears the left the left one appears right you get the point right so for this purpose we're gonna have to center this to the middle and also these dots right here on instagram you have these dots that are actually this blue color bright blue color when you are on given position right approximately like this and if you move over to the middle one middle one is going to highlight and then the last one is going to highlight right so we have we have these three states this is our carousel we have an instagram post how do we actually make this work as an actual carousel. I'm gonna have to select the photos in this very first variant. First, I'm gonna actually rename this property to photo and then the default is gonna be called one, second one, two, and third one, three. And one small change, I'm gonna make them arranged vertically. It'll be easier to navigate, you will see why. Now I'm gonna, again, select the photos within the carousel container, go over to prototype and select this circle and then connect that to the second variant. I'm gonna say on drag, change to photo number two. Animation is gonna be smart animate, right? Makes sense. It's gonna be probably 300 milliseconds. Yeah, that sounds good. And then I'm gonna do the same for this variant. We can, we can drag, so on drag, change to photo one, smart animate. We can do, do that. We can drag to the left and go back here. But you can also, you know, drag like this and in that case, that's gonna go to the last version, right? So on drag, change to photo three, not animate again. And from the last one, again, select the photos and then connect that to the middle one and on drag change to photo two smart animate so what should happen now is if we use the instagram post component right so this is an instance of the instagram post component and we're going to place that right here and we're going to launch the prototype what should happen is that we should be able to click and drag to swipe across this carousel let's see if that's the case and if we manage to do this properly and we did so here you go we have the instagram post on our fictional phone that we can wipe through to change the photos in our instagram crucial and if you enjoyed this tutorial if you learned something new leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials on figma and ux and ui design thanks for tuning in and i will see you in the next one